Hey everybody, Hoopy TVX. I was um, tapping back in and um, go over that um, surviving R. Kelly. I know I said I was gonna talk about it last night, man, but I had to, I had to sleep on that shit. I had to sleep on that shit, man. I had to really think about that shit, man. That shit was, man. And one thing about Lifetime, man, um, they would portray your shit in such a, such a horrible, horrible, monstrous way, man. They make you look like a goddamn demon. They made this man look like a goddamn demon. You know, the shit that the shit was fucked up, man. And the thing that I, and, 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 and the problem I got is, okay, okay, say R. Kelly did do all this shit, because we don't know what he did, we, I mean, we can suspect and say whatever we want to say, but ain't no, he ain't been convicted of shit, he ain't been convicted of none of that shit, and then don't, don't get me wrong, man, that shit's fucking horrible, what they, if that shit is true, that shit's fucking horrible as fuck, but, it's all they call it allegedly shit, okay? The thing that fucks me up is that, um, Aaliyah's manager knew, mom and dad knew, damn near everyone else around them knew this shit. And nobody says shit. Does that make them as guilty as R. Kelly? Does that make them accessories to the to the to, to the crime? And I don't understand how these people drop their kids off with a grown ass man. Like he had a sparkle on there break, um, breaking down saying she never wish she never would have um, introduced her to her. Well, why would you leave it? Why would you leave her there? You know what I'm saying? Why would you leave her? Why would you leave a kid with a grown ass fucking man? That's that's the shit that fucks me up, man. Like And then the manager talking about um, talking about um, she looked, she looked like she wanted to say something to him, but and he, and he just didn't say shit. It was it, it's it's all about the bag, man. They was all chasing the fucking bag, man, and they didn't give a fuck what happened to them young girls, man. At that time, they didn't give a fuck. If they did, they would have been came out. They would have been any any decent motherfucker that's got fucking a conscious and goddamn common sense would have been like, oh, 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 what the fuck is going on up in here? Oh, no, nigga, no. That's not going, no. And the shit would have been out then. If I see somebody fucking my goddamn niece, nigga, walking and joking and fucking matching clothes and shit with my goddamn niece, no, nigga, hell no. Hell no. They can crucify R. Kelly all they want, but they need to have fucking, um, they need to take part of that shit too. They did some shit too. If they want to crucify that nigga, they did some shit too. And, um, uh, another thing, man. How. How did um, this last for so long? How, how 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 did it go on for so fucking long? Is what I want to know. How, how, all these fucking years, and now they want to do. And I just don't get it, man. Was he protected? Was everybody just chasing the bag so goddamn much that they just wanted to just sweep it under the fucking rug and let them keep doing the shit that he's doing with all these fucking girls, all these young girls? 
And then these, then it was motherfuckers uh, taking notes and uh, giving phone numbers and shit to R. Kelly. Like, like uh, R. Kelly be like, go get that girl. And then, then these niggas go do it. These niggas go do it knowing that bitch is goddamn, is goddamn, uh, in goddamn junior high. They want to go, they, they want to go fucking get the fucking number. Shit fucking crazy, man. That shit fucking crazy, man. And they, they let the motherfucker do all this shit, man. And they're going to act like, um, get up there fucking crying and shit and talking about all this shit. I don't want to talk about it. I don't wanna, see, that's the reason why it's fucked up now because you don't want to fucking talk about it. If you would have opened that shit up then, we wouldn't even be in this situation that we in now with the with him with the women in there. If shit would have been open then. That's just like somebody killing somebody. And they come into your house and telling you, let me get this shit. Let me get some, um, 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 help me drag this to the back. I, I can bury it. And your dumb ass doing it. And then when he get, when, when, then when he get caught, you, uh, you going to jail too. Same shit, man. Same fucking shit, man. Same shit. And the mom and dad knew too. Mom and dad knew too. As soon as that fucking marriage certificate. And, and how the uncle go for how the uncle gonna forge a uh, gonna help her forge her name and say she 18 when he know how old his goddamn niece is? And how can he even let some shit like that go down? How the fuck you an uncle and you let your fucking niece marry a goddamn 27 year old when she fucking 15 and you gonna help forge the fucking name? The bag. The goddamn bag. And he up there laughing and he he ha ha and shit. He should be getting his ass beat and drugged too, like fucking R. Kelly getting drugged. The fuck, man? This shit just, these, man, this shit just, these one-sided motherfuckers is fucking crazy, man. These motherfuckers crazy, man. Don't get me wrong. R. Kelly got hell of a talent. He's hell of a singer. He's good. He do all that shit, man. But his personal life is fucked up. He was raised fucked up. He don't know how to read. They try to take advantage of him. And they try to push the monsterness aside and take advantage of getting that bag. And in the process of doing that, hundreds of women got fucking destroyed over their fucking greed. This is what's wrong with black people, man. This is the shit that's wrong, man. They sell their fucking people out for that goddamn bag every fucking time. You can't take money with you. When it's time for you to go, nigga, the money can't follow you. Your spirit goes. Your heart, what you feel. You goddamn discredit yourself and fucking ashamed yourself and your goddamn family over the goddamn bag? Y'all niggas wild, man. Y'all niggas wild, man. This shit is fucking crazy, man. This shit is fucking crazy. It's just like... Niggas sit here and talk shit about R. Kelly. And talk all this shit. But... They'll say shit like... Um, yeah, I had a murder charge. I went in for murder, you know what I'm saying? But I beat the case because of a loophole. What makes your shit different than his shit? He may have fucked these bitches' mind up, but you killed the motherfucker. So that makes you better than him? Where they do that at? You was trafficking dope over here. And um, you was trafficking birds and shipping birds. And you get caught. And then all of a sudden your lawyer finds a loophole and you out. Does that make you better than R. Kelly? I didn't think so. Shit wild, man. It's shit wild. You know, they just showed part one and part two. I'm, I'm, I, I, I can't wait to see the other parts, man. So I can see, man. And, and, and what's pissing me off, man, is that 
they not letting the Leah rest, man. They keep doing this shit, man. They keep, man. They, it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy, man. They will not let this young girl rest, man. That shit's sad, man. This shit just don't make no sense, man. I don't understand how niggas do shit like that, man. Yo, man. I'm going to tune in and keep watching, man. I, this is just my opinion of part one and part two. I'm going to keep watching, man, and, 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 and see what I can see, what I can get out of it, man. And, uh, don't be so quick, man. Because the person that... Ain't nobody sins better than the next, man. And, and trust me, I'm not sticking up for his ass at all. Because that shit is fucking disgusting and foul as fuck. But just think about it. I'm out.